Hi everyone, my name is Aurora and this is my art presentation. So what is art? Art is meaningful and anyone can create and accomplish artwork with an idea of materials. Art can be expressed in multiple forms, for example, painting, sculpting, and building. So why do artists make art? Artists make art because they want to express themselves. They often want to tell a story and inspire other artists to tell their story. They do it for the love and passion. So the first artist I'm talking about is Carla Arcati. She was an Italian abstract painter that was associated with two movements and founding member of the Italian art groups Forma and Continuata. During the late 1970s, she also became part of the feminist movement. So here are some of the works. Here on the left is called Blue Viola. It is one of her abstract paintings, which was created in 1961. She used a canvas that featured minimal color palettes, intrigue line detail, and unique materials. She was deeply committed to the Marxist politics, which inspired her passion for her abstract process. I consider this artwork to be a work of art because she was able to make something look so simple while creating a story behind it. The second piece on the right is called the Cuarato, which was created in 1981. It is a sickle foil, which is a transparent plastic sheeting used in commercial packaging on a painted wooden frame. I chose this piece because it has unique archi architectural that was inspired by post-war life in Italy. And I am an Italian, so I found a connection through my history and culture. So how does art reflect culture? A lot of artists like to use their background and history of their generations to tell their story. It's a way to educate others who may not be familiar with their culture. The next artist that I would like I'll be mentioning is Mark Bradford, who specifically used his culture and knowledge within his pieces. Mark Bradford was born and raised in Los Angeles in 1961, and he likes to use a lot of paper when creating his artwork. He would collect paper from cities he would visit and create a story out of it. With this being said, he likes to incorporate a cultural background into his piece. He likes to transform materials that are often found along the streets and adds it to his collage. So some of his artwork right here on the left is one called Riding Dirty. He refers to this collage as bits of signage that displays how he feels. I admire this work because there are several powerful words in his collage that can truly impact an individual. This artwork is a work of art because he's able to tell his story using words as well as materials to create one solid piece. And the second piece here on the right inspired me. It's called The Killing the Goodbye. He was able to create an amazing painting that also tied the name of the painting into the title of his piece. This artwork is a piece of art because it clearly tells a story, especially with the red paint throughout. The red also makes this piece quite significant because it symbolizes how important storytelling is. And my next artist is Ellen Gallagher. She was born in Providence, Rhode Island in 1965. Although the work has often been interpreted strictly as an examination of race, Gallagher also suggests a more formal reading with respect to materials, processes, and incentives. Her work is more abstract. And here are some of her pieces. So right here on the left, the first artwork that I chose was the Wiglet from Deluxe, which she made in 2004. This piece is very unique because it uses such a vibrant color in various ways. This artwork is art because of the different textures and shapes that she uses to create the wigs for each individual woman. I found this to be amazing. I like this piece because she was able to use one dominant color, which is yellow in this case, to make her piece tell a story. The second piece here on the right is called the bubbler, which she created in 2000. She was able to show how multiple different shapes can come together to tell a story. The colors that she used balanced well, and I could understand her story as a whole, which makes it what makes her artwork significant. This artwork is a work of art because she was able to morph simple shapes like waves and volcanoes and turn it into a painting. And lastly, some misconceptions about art. So going back to Gallagher's work, her artwork 
were great examples of misconception in relation to art. They show misconceptions by using the environment and incorporating it into her story. As you saw on the previous slide, she took an ocean wave and turned it into an amazing painting. These are some misconceptions one may not understand unless you are the artist itself. And that is it. Thank you so much for listening.